Hi everybody and welcome to the final match of tournament big money. It's a grand finals too in which we are again facing off against J Nails um, who we've lost to in grand finals one. Uh, we did come into this with a with an advantage because we came from the winner's bracket so we only needed to win one game J Nails um, needs to win both so now it's just whoever wins this one wins the whole thing and we're pl effectively playing for seventy dollars because the winner gets a hundred and twenty dollars and fifty dollars for second place which we are both guaranteed at this point. Thanks again to h.exe executable for organizing this and also putting up the the prize pool. It's really really cool and it's been a really fun tournament. A long one also. I think this thing started in like June and So it's been like four months. My math is correct. Anyway, um, we will be starting shortly, which is to say now. Uh, I think we need to turn off spec chat, which we now did. It's cool that you can now do it in game. So he's starting this first one, which is nice for him because if it comes to a game seven, he will also be starting that. So, yeah, that's. <laughs> also that also that this combo featured in game one of our last match so how will we be opening here for sure recruiter right and probably a recruiter star chart could also be recruiter bonfire hmm. Could also be something like Recruiter Watchtower with the idea that you can then play your Cursed Gold um, without taking the curse. Um, could also, yeah, so there's m multiple options and I'm not sure which is best. Well, Recruiter for sure, but on our turn two, we could Bonfire, we could Star Chart, we could Watchtower and they all seem pretty reasonable. Probably star chart. Um, we're gonna have a 12 card deck. Hmm. Which means we play the recruiter we will not be triggering a shuffle turn for unfortunately bonfiring could lead to us missing three because we're also taking a curse in the worst case and that would be pretty bad maybe we don't want to do that and rather bonfire um on our next shuffle Um, best the star chart, alright, we're gonna go with the recruiter here and probably star chart as well, really don't wanna miss the recruiter. Now we could get a watchtower maybe.
Or maybe we just bonfire. There's also camel train, which could be pretty good. <coughs> Buys eight then. Yeah, that's nice because you get to you get to trigger a shuffle, right? So that's actually pretty nice. And seeing as we um, didn't hit three without taking a curse, maybe we just copy that. Or is there something better to do? Nah, we, we wanna... I think that's pretty nice, the, the den here. Let's copy that. Yeah, and you get to shuffle again, right? So that's really, really good. Nice line that he found. We didn't really find it, we just copied it. <laughs> Camel train could be nice. Pretty nice, actually, right? Because it's single buy. We'll probably hit five again, and what do we then buy? Could be a second recruiter, and then we go into camel train. Probably won't even bonfire anymore right because the opportunity cost is just too high I think second recruiter is pretty nice in this spot. And then you get a camel train. And then you can maybe camel, governors, wild hunts. Maybe governors first to get some recruiter food. Then you get a wild hunt, or multiple of them. Maybe if you're greedy, you then first camel train camel trains to gain even more wild hunts. Yeah, could see that being an option like recruiter into camel train into. Oh, oh, forgot the kingdom view. Here it is, 10 minutes into the game. Um, buys another den, okay. We're gonna go with the recruiter here. And yeah, second recruiter. Let's get a second recruiter, then a camel train. Um. Which we can hopefully afford. Missing three would be pretty bad here. So let's hope that does not happen. Might have to take a curse. Well, actually we can't miss... Well, we can miss three by drawing copper then that would be the worst that would just be pretty bad so let's hope it doesn't happen if I say camel train now Ooh. we're gonna go with the camel train as well 
I don't know about that second then, if it's worth it or not. Because we have two recruiters now and he doesn't and we're gonna be playing both of them again this turn. Which will be pretty good for us. So yeah, I don't know about the second then. Also it didn't like help trigger a shuffle or anything when he bought it, so... Maybe you didn't really need it. Gets another camel train, yeah. You want many of these. Let's put the recruiter on top. Um. Hmm. Maybe we get governors now. And then another camel train as we planned, right? Because if we're gonna have to take a curse, might as well do it now. Also, if we trash the cursed gold, we won't have enough money for fives anymore. So, um, let's do that now. Um, what should we put on top, actually? Maybe one governor for draw, or maybe just the recruiters are all right. There's two curses, two coppers there. We would really like to hit three, and then we're good. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll go with the Recruiter. We also have the Den right to help us draw. Not sure, maybe it should have been Governor for three cards. I think now we get Camel Trains and then we go into Wild Hunts. There's the the other recruiter. Let's gain a gold here and discard this one. Um, hmm. Maybe this should be wild hunts now because we have trouble drawing. Um, if we take the camel trains now, hmm, maybe not. There's the governor down there. You can use it for draw. You would like to get the additional camel trains, right? And then next turn we could get lots of wild hunts. And we trash the cursed gold, I guess. Or maybe we do that later. Now let's trash it now. Um, let's put the governor on top. We really want to draw well now to get to some of these camel trains. He's also drawing us cards, which is nice for us. If he's trashing here, we're gonna trash a copper. Nope, not trashing. Well, 
not sure whether we should get wild hunts now or governors because governors are also gonna be important to us to gain gold uh, as recruiter food right Well, the thing is, there will all only be two left. Which I guess makes us want to go for wild hunts we can score a lot with them right I think we should trash gold here we want the villagers right yeah definitely need them Let's put one of them on top already. This turn we might even gain them mid-turn. This is an excellent starting hand by the way. Because we have the silver left that our governor can um, remodel. Um, curse piles getting low. Well, we don't... We he does have his thing, um, his cursed gold. Uh, we don't wanna trash. He still has his cursed gold. There's an actual village on the board, a mountain village, of which kind of didn't really see all the time because, well, we, we wanna do this anyway, right? We don't need no real villages, do we? Now he's trashed his cursed gold, so Curses are not gonna run. Let's see, he can gain three wild hands here if he wants to. Or we even have... With many wild hands we will even have somewhat of a pile thread. Uh, let's not trash here. Alright, um, we draw. And we draw. Now we recruit. Um, we recruit the gold. Is there a way we can win? We can empty wild hunts and governors. Well, we can't unfortunately empty mid-turn empty camel trains. Hmm. Don't think we can win.
<clears throat> um, so we probably just gain some wild hunts here. Um, and then we gain the governors. Which can he then pile? Don't think so. He cannot pile camel train. He has two, so he can eliminate two of these fl from the supply. Out this guy. He doesn't have a forecast um, because, well, we should have thought about this before. But he doesn't have a forecast, so he, he can't steal this governor or anything. I think we're just gonna take points. Um, of the wild hunts here. Maybe we don't even touch provinces. Can he empty six provinces? He has six governors. He has a den. He has two wild hunts. Not three wild hunts and two recruiters so he can draw 15 does he have six golds i don't think so no does he gained one gold there oh let's figure that out later um let's first play on um doing this Uh, we want the silver on top. Um, we do, we draw, we gain gold. Um, twice, I guess. Maybe there was a way to empty estates, but it's too late now. Hmm. Well, now's the time to see how many golds he has, so. did gain two from the camel train and then he gained one two so four so he has three there's no way he can empty six provinces is there um so I guess we just do this um trash a gold and do we want to gain one here? Uh, 
I think we do. And we gain estates with the wild hands. Oh, he might be um, able to empty recruiters, right? Hmm. He might be able to um, to do that. Um. Should this be like Bard, or maybe we bonfire? We do have lots of draw, but if we need to draw less, we might be able to just empty estates with the wild hunts. Raid. We have one, two, three, four. Five, six. Oh. No, that's not gonna work. No, we have seven. But still, I don't think that's gonna work. Let's get a bard. Might be helpful. Let's see what he can do. Yeah, he might just be able to empty recruiters, right? Hmm. Yeah, while, while also outscoring us. How many silvers does he have? Well, we only gained gold once, right? Last turn. I don't know. We're gonna find out. It's a tough end game. Really tough. Hard to dance around piles. Oh, oh damn it. We should have bought a camel train, right? Yes, yes, we should have done that, I think. Well, I don't know. Because buying one, we could then just empty that pile. Um, and he couldn't do that. Yeah. Hmm. Would also have given us uh, an extra gold. He's almost out of villagers, only one left. Well, yeah, I mean, he did play as recruiter now, so he can trash something. Yeah, I think 
camel train would have been far 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 better than bar there for us to buy it was a poor choice i mean it's fine but i think camel train was the by far the stronger option Maybe it's also the well, almost clicked that. Maybe it's also debatable whether we should even have province, right? Because we want the game to go long. Um, we have seven wild hunts, so maybe we shouldn't have done that. Uh, let's see, Dep depending on how much he scores here, you might be able to just empty estates. We can use two wild hunts for draw. No, well, yeah, yeah, we can. Well, we can use one for draw. Well, uh, assuming he doesn't take the. If he does take the points here, we could use two for draw. Uh, empty estates, that will be seven points. Right, then we buy the last one or we use a governor. I don't know if we will be able to empty and score enough points as well. The bard might help us. There's some boons that might help us. The the buy boon, the, the swamp boon. Um, seems to be a tough spot for him as well. He wants the game to end fast, right? Um, because we have the wild hunt advantage.
trash is a camel train, all right. So he's probably not going to be emptying recruiters, uh, recruiters or something. See how many provinces he can get. The thing is, we can. I think get at most get two provinces. Use two governors for gold gain and two for remodeling. Um, yeah, so we'll just have to see what he does and then we know, and maybe we know what our options are. I think if he takes three provinces we might be in trouble. I actually, he, I don't know if he can take three provinces um, because what did we say? How many golds does he have? Well, he does have three golds, I think. And we're still searching for the these uh, recruiter lines.
Okay, now he has two golds left, I think. Gains an estate now already. Uh, can he empty estates? Maybe he can. He's got one wild hunt. One wild hunt for governors. And then he buys one. I think he can do that, right? Or maybe he doesn't have enough um, zero cost cards, or maybe he's scared that we have our bard. Okay, he does not go for emptying the estates, it seems. Should have one gold left now if he did count correctly. Gonna buy a third province, no Puka. All right, so let's say the empty estates. Let's say we draw. Twice the empty estates. It's gonna be eight points, and then we just need one more duchy. We should be able to do that, right? And there's no way he can score of our remodel. Need to governor draw once here. Uh, we draw another time. These are so these will draw um, seven cards. We need two more. We have two governors left. We can with one of them draw and with one we remodel. Um, we trash this curse. Uh, we have all the wild hunts, right? We trash this thing. Okay, now we have it. Now we can buy the last estate and All right, nice, we got it. We did get it. And yeah, it was a really complicated end game. Really tough. Um, really good for us that we've been on the first one on his start.
Okay, what's this? Outpost. Um, so you want to play with a Herald stack, I guess. What do we open? Could be develop something. Develop Overlord. Could be develop monument because if they collide, that's fine. Guess we're gonna go with the develop raid. Could even be double develop save. How about that? Huh. I don't know if it's actually any good. Probably not, right? We do want to get thin because of Outpost and the Heralds. Um, the thing is, there's there isn't any nice three dollar targets. Well, we can develop into silvers, I guess. We can also just develop into develops. Uh, because worst worst case, we mule them or we save them. So maybe it's fine to just go in on these develops. I mean, what? Do you want to be doing early anyway with the build up? Let's go double develop. Maybe it's silly. And then you can develop into like Herald Duchess, and that's alright. Um, your excess develops, I mean. Yeah, let's do this. Um, this could be Mule One by Harold. Put develop on top. And this could be put develop on top by Overlord. Because we don't want to buy another develop, I don't think. So we're gonna go with the Overlord. Here we just mule put another develop on top. And we've got a lot of develops now. We're gonna be turning them into heralds. Like now. Um like we 
Crooked Mule. Maybe be Mule and Trash Copper. Buy another Overlord. Yeah, sure. At some point we need to get rid of all these develops. Um think we do this. Alright. Yeah now we now we mule the now and now we develop the develop for Duchess Herald. We can do Herald Herald. Uh, did that wrong? Well, I mean, it was guaranteed no matter what, right? Um, let's keep that, I guess. Um, yeah, let's herald again. Here we just trash copper. That turn wasn't too bad, was it? I uh, think we mule and trash copper. I think the uh, I like the way this is looking. Oh, he's got a grand market. Uh, I guess from the yeah here where he played the vault. All right. But we aren't worried about that. How many? Oh, we trashed three coppers and all of our estates. So we are far ahead in trashing, which we really, really like. Because then we can start on the outposts and all that good stuff. So I think this going for the develops early worked out nicely. Mule and safe really help with that. Muling has develops. Maybe he wants to buy another grand market. Yep. His next turn shouldn't be great, right? And I do like getting thin because of outpost, right? It's going to be really important, and you're really thin and have lots of heralds. Oh, he's going for the double herald. Didn't hit there. Oh, we play that. And we keep that. And more heralds. Um, this is gonna be another pair of herald duchess. Um, I think now we wanna trash the coppers, like trash one copper, um, you want another herald right, so let's do this. The mule here, and we do duchess. 
this card here. We only have three coppers left. That's really great. Um, we can save one and buy a herald. And this turn we can start with the with the outposting. How many heralds do we have? I think five to his two. That should have been the first two heralds he bought. Nope, he's got three, so four, four to three right now. Okay, we want some more, but we should be able to get them. I think we will win that split. Should be able to with the help of outpost. Let's play this as Harold. And this one is outpost. Um I guess we can trash all of our coppers. Oh not quite. Oh the, yeah we can, we can. So let's do that. Um No no no. We'd rather, I think we'd rather, no, no. Let's do it like this. And we're copper free. Now we trash into um, Herald Duchess. Um, let's trash the other develop as well, I think. We don't need it anymore. Well, now that we, we will get more duchesses that way, we don't want that. So just monument here, I think. We can at least mule the develops. Do this. Um, we don't want to give him duchesses. We buy Grand Market, save a Herald. Yeah, this is looking real good, I think. Look at this. This is all our coppers. So I think we're looking really good this game. He has six coppers left and, and an estate. And we have to herald six to four, so and we can do consistent outpost turns, so it's all looking really good for us. Nope. Oh. 
this time we don't wanna do the wall thing. Alright. Uh, we mule that. Yeah. That's fair. Fair design. We were really far ahead. Alright, nice. I'm um, gonna be right back. All right, I'm back. So our plan worked really nicely there. The double develop opening. Um, of course, it was um, it had a lot of support, right? It, it had the the save. It had mule. So mule all for the early mule and save for the early develop uh, collisions. And also Mule made it so that the develops weren't like a detriment once the heralds ran. I've got the 5-2 here. Uh, could even be 4 or 5. But of course I think we do want to open peasant raid. Could be peasant, shepherd. Could also be peasant bazaar, maybe, because bazaar um, is the only village and it's expensive. And probably do want to get villages. First turn shepherd might just be well. First truffle shepherd might not be uh, as good. Maybe do go peasant bazaar. Also patrol with shepherds gonna be really nice. And we should arms this peasant to not show him we've got the 2-5, although I doubt it will make him play this differently. I mean, shepherd can be hit or miss. On the other hand, I guess well, we don't need the bazaar now, right? So maybe it's a little crazy to open it over over the shepherd. I'm not so sure.
We can get the shepherd this shuffle. Right, we can get it anytime with arms. Bazaar, not so much. So let's get the bazaar. Okay, this is really, really nice. We can get another five. He gets a, an alright shepherd. So I think this this could be patrol, but I think what's better is peasant shepherd and the arms for another shepherd on our next hand. And then we add in the patrol. Uh, yeah, because we want the second peasant in there. Don't know if there's even gonna be a point where we're gonna be getting rat catchers because sure it would be nice to get rid of these coppers, wouldn't it? Can say cartographer, alright. Um yeah, let's get peasant shepherd here. And another shepherd here. Or maybe this is the time to get a rat catcher. Like it's gonna be really slow to trash the coppers, right? Isn't second shepherd gonna be better now for the cycling? Oh, excellent! Great starting hand. Yeah, maybe we get the rat catchers now as he is doing it. Maybe we can now get like rat catcher patrol or something. Ooh, well, just get the patrol. And we don't play the shepherd. Um, what are we gonna hit here? Um, three, five, six. Not quite seven. Seven could have been bizarre peasant. Maybe this should be double rat catcher. Because red, we would like to get another peasant, but hmm. 
maybe just another peasant peasant rat catcher one rat catcher is gonna be enough thing is if we draw if we draw we won't be able to play everything Let's go down the rat catcher here. Oh, really great again. Really, really great to see our travelers. I feel nice again about this game, right? We've got the fugitive again was kind of a sad shuffle for him again. We've got the bazaar, we've got the patrol, so... That's looking kind of good. Yeah, we played this. Well, it's a bit sad we took these, took the pasture out and the estate, but it's fine. Um, another bazaar or another patrol or something else. Think another bazaar. So he had a really sad turn there. We might have won as well. We should have played the rat catcher first uh, in case we drew our disciple. Um I think now is the time for another peasant. Could also be capital. Now we want the peasant, we want to get another one going. Great turn here, great start of turn. We're gonna be discipling the patrol. And I don't know if we wanna go up to teacher. I mean, having plus action on patrol is gonna make things really easy, so maybe we just do that. Yeah, I think this is fine board to get a teacher. gonna get his disciple here I don't know about his cartographer by doesn't seem to have done a lot for him. Um, he might have just have had bad draws, right? But let's discard the estate. Uh, I think he has had some bad draws, for sure. We're gonna be discipling the patrol. Um, sure, like that. Like that. 
Um, can we set this up some way? Our next turn. Discard this. Oh, he's giving up. Alright. Well, again, we were quite far ahead. Okay, so match point there for us on our start also. Ooh, okay. What's this? What's this? Amulet, there's way of the ox, you wanna pop magic lamp. There's coin of the realm. So we could open amulet pageant. Thing I don't like about pageant here is that you waste a buy. So to say, for the for the magic lamp, you're gonna get the uniques ASAP. But it also helps you hit five, right? So maybe we just do that. Okay, we trash. Um, guess we buy another one. Maybe not. Maybe buy the coin. Really wanna hit, hit the, the lamp. Buy the coin, save the coffer and buy like Margrave. Yeah. Now we have one, two, three, four, five. We need one more after that. And that could be which. going for the witch. I think I like Margrave first. It's a little more cycling. Um, well, this doesn't matter, does it? So next turn or the one after that we might get there now we get the witch yeah we're guaranteed to get there right that's excellent um so what do we buy here mastermind i guess Yeah, let's get a master mastermind. All right, now we get there. Uh, maybe the mastermind was premature. Probably should have been Lost City, but didn't wanna help him. Yeah, I think we play the amulet over it to trash. Because also there's three junk cards on top. So the mastermind might not find anything. And 
could be another amulet to get to finish trashing, right? Or playing with witches and stuff. <laughs> There's the amulet again, uh, the mastermind, but now we play it. Oh, no, oh, that's actually fine. Let's see, will he get there? Probably, right? Oh. So if he finds the wishes before we do here, uh, might be good for him. But... Well, we might just mastermind which next turn. And maybe that mastermind should have been Septa, right? Yeah, that would have made a lot more sense. Yeah, definitely. We could have used it already on our witch. So, that was kind of a poor buy. Um, do we want another coin? Why not? Yeah, we can mastermind the witch. Well, let's hope he doesn't find his wishes here. He also doesn't have a coin down, so I suspect he won't be able to do too much with this turn. Well, you can gain lost cities, of course, right? So. Okay, he mastermind the witch. And Lost City now. Um, guess another Lost City and a Scepter. Or maybe a Mastermind. Ah, maybe Scepter is better to just immediately play the witch again, leave the coin out. Uh, after that it's not gonna be that useful, right? Let's get another mastermind, I think. And here... Should this be another witch? Yeah, let's get another witch. Yeah, this is looking great again, right? He's gonna eat three more curses this, this turn. Um, we discard like this. Well, actually, we keep the coppers, right? Uh, to trash them. Well, we had six last turn. Maybe we. Uh, no, no. Let's let's finish trashing. Because we want to add a bank at some point. Mm. But not this point. Uh. 
Uh, he's gonna get so many curses here. Looking really good for us. Um, what's happening here? I don't know. Um, mastermind here. That's. <laughs> the, well, we're gonna need the coin anyway, right? So we're gonna be trashing here. Maybe we add the bank now. Trash once, gain silver. Discord is like updating or something and it's really slowing everything down. So sorry for that. Yeah, this is he's got so many curses. How how's he gonna deal with that? I guess this should have been another Margrave first before the bank, but it's fine, I think. All right. Nice, so. A clean 4-0 sweep and we win the tournament big money so really happy about that um, and also congratulations to Jay Nails on the second place and he's played really well uh, too and thanks to the organizers thanks to executable again and thanks to everybody commentating all these matches Today it's been freaky and executable and Akuchi and Kilohertz have done a lot of them as well. So yeah, I guess we're gonna see each other again in next league season and also in the Dominion Online Championships which will be starting soon. So thank you everybody for watching and listening and see you next time. Goodbye!